May 15, 2012. The culmination of the largest and most complex seismic test ever conducted. A project comprised of 13 earthquake motions and six fire tests. Now this specially designed and instrumented building is about to experience one of the most severe earthquake motions ever recorded. Why? Back in 1971, a moderate magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake struck Southern California with devastating consequences. It was like a harder shake and a harder shake. The crunching to me was like a roar. I heard a lot of rumble. Maybe it was the earth, maybe it was what was falling. All the false ceilings, they're coming down. And uh, is there gonna be a roof behind it? Closets were falling onto beds. Furniture was moving around, glass breaking, people yelling. Seconds later, you felt the sensation of going down. We used to be on the second floor and we had become the first floor. If the earthquake had hit later in the day, I, I don't know how anybody would have been able to get out of those offices fast enough. Fortunately, at 6 a.m., the ground floor offices of this building at the Olive View Medical Center in Silmar were vacant. However, the 800-bed main hospital building, occupied by over 600 patients at the time, suffered severe damage and narrowly avoided collapse. Miraculously, only three lives were lost throughout the entire medical center. Unfortunately, nearby Olive View, four of the San Fernando Veterans Administration Medical Center's oldest buildings collapsed catastrophically, claiming 49 lives and severely impacting emergency services. The intent is to shake the building until it begins to fail. We can identify what parts are as strong as people thought they would be, what may be stronger than they thought they would, and what may be weaker than they thought they would. And it will not only test the building, but it will test the contents of the building. The other thing that we'll do with this building after the shaking is done is to set it on fire. This is an opportunity for us to try to find out how a fire will behave in a building that has been damaged by a seismic event. The new knowledge that is gained will help designers, contractors, uh, and regulators improve performance of buildings and their internal components, and in the end, the benefactor is the public at large. Finally, it is time for the ultimate test, a motion that exceeds a maximum credible earthquake event. This is an earthquake that happens approximately every 2,500 years. Codes and designs for this motion have the performance expectation that the building will not collapse, but will lose functions and be severely damaged beyond repair. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, running. violence and severity of the quake is clear. This would be a frightening experience not soon forgotten. The forces and displacements on the structure are extreme. At points during the shaking, floors two and three are displaced by nearly a foot in both directions. The heavy upper cladding is shaken violently but remains attached. The lower cladding tears like paper. Interior furnishings are thrown about by the violent accelerations. Those that are unrestrained are tossed about like toys, while anchored items ride out the seismic storm, jerked to and fro, along with the walls and floors to which they are attached. 
close inspection reveals that the building suffers irreparable damage. I think this building uh, in the real world situation would be condemned. The columns, the base of the columns, are, the concrete is falling off, especially the two columns on the east. There is a beam, a beam at the top of the first story where there is a full plastic hinge formation with a lot of concrete that detached. You see these, these uh, blocks of concrete here. We can see the rebars. They are naked now. At different floors, you can see the formation of the punching failure mechanism of the slab around the column not far from really collapsing. From the third floor to the fourth floor, the stairs uh, are detached, they are hanging. There are a lot of gypsum board, huge gypsum board that detached, that fell off. At every floor, the frame of the elevator door has been seriously damaged. The doors are, are locked, uh, you know, in an oblique fashion. But the building has done its duty. It bent, and cracked, but did not collapse. You know, it satisfied the design objective. The, the, the structural system should still stand, even though maybe close to collapse, but still stand. It resisted, so it's a, it's a success. In the weeks prior to conducting these ultimately damaging tests, the team had tested the building on seismic isolators in order to directly compare the effects of seismic isolation on the performance of non-structural elements. These huge rubber pads, each weighing over half a ton, support the building on four points, one at each corner of the structure, isolating the building from the earth and its motions. In a test using a record from the magnitude 8 Ica Peru earthquake of 2007, the effect of base isolation becomes obvious. As the table displaces, the isolators provide elastic joints between the earth and the structure, dramatically attenuating the accelerations that are transmitted to the building. The contrast with the motions in the other tests is clear. With isolators, the building slides back and forth smoothly and easily. While objects and fixtures shift, the violent displacements and the destruction they wrought upon the building in the fixed foundation tests do not occur. 90% or so of the displacement that actually was imparted on the building was absorbed by the isolator. And so the result is relatively minimal impact on the contents and the non-structural elements in the building. The hospital could remain functioning. The patients would be saved. The equipment, critical support equipment, would remain functioning. The electrical system in this building remained functioning. So life support equipment for patients would remain functioning. That's essential. The elevator remained functioning. The stairs were completely intact. So paths of egress through the building remained functional. So that's a success.